Congressman. Mr. Secretary, they're standing there, and I think they deserve an apology from you. And then Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas did just that on Wednesday, apologizing to a Texas mother at a heated House hearing. Elisa Tambunga's seven-year-old daughter Amelia and her mother Maria were killed when an alleged human trafficker crashed into them during a high-speed chase with law enforcement in the West Texas town of Azona. I want change. I want action. I want laws enforced and policies enforced. I can't sleep. I still can't eat that well. I have to find a new purpose, and she was my entire purpose. Every day in my district, they ask me, why isn't the border secure? What the hearing by the GOP-led Homeland Security Committee was supposed to be about the agency's budget, but Republicans teed off on the administration's border policies. We have a problem at our border. We have families that are suffering. This was one example of hundreds of thousands. Questioning was split on party lines. Texas Republicans dismissed Mayorkas's claims his agency has control over the border. And Democrats challenged the notion that former President Donald Trump's border policies worked. Hundreds of children were detained for more than 72 hours in violation of the law. And that was when our Border Patrol agents and others were overwhelmed. Mr. Secretary, would you please remind me who was president in 2019. After the hearing, Mayorkas met privately with Tambunga as well as another Texas mother, Kim Gillahan of Cyprus, whose 14-year-old son died from a fentanyl overdose. I really would love to see change is the White House actually having a COVID-like response to this. Yes, we need to stop these drugs from coming in, but unfortunately, they are here. There's a face to the border crisis, and I know that that doesn't get across as much. You hear about it, but you don't see it. So that's what we came here to do. The secretary maintained his agency is working within the limitations of a broken system and is striving to maximize resources to deliver the most effective results, which in his view is maintaining operational control of the border. In Washington, Rena Diamante, Spectrum News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app and tune in to Channel 55 on Dish and DirecTV to get live news coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes, and more. We'll see you then.